Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Jumping right in, we're going to flatten out our brows with some glue stick. We are going to be using some liquid latex so you want to protect the hair on your face. I went ahead and started drawing out some lines and shapes for the concept that I originally had, which was a chameleon. And then we started to apply a very thin layer of liquid latex onto those lines and then topping it off with some unraveled cotton balls. Then again, saturating the cotton with some liquid latex and just building up from there. I did the same concept for all of the lines on my face. It's just a thin layer of liquid latex and then some cotton and then saturating it again with some latex. Just trying to blend it all out and shaping it in the way that you want. After you're done with all of your layering, please make sure to set all of your liquid latex with some translucent powder so it's easier for you to paint on. We're going to be using the color Poison Green and Peacock Shimmer and we're going to mix those two together. I'm going to use a very dense kabuki brush and I'm going to place this or pat this all over the outer perimeter of my face and down my neck as well. Then for the center, I'm going to be using the NYX Cosmetics cream color in teal and white. And it made a very minty green. I'm just going to fill in the center portion of my face. We're going to take the NYX Special Effects cream in white and I'm going to fill in my eyes as well as highlight with this. And we're going to blend this all out with a sponge. Using the NYX Cosmetics Bright Palette, I'm just going to drag that pink going from the inner corner of my eye out towards my temple. And then I just took some really pink pigment that I found, I believe this is from MAC, but I'm not sure. And I just placed it right on top to give it a little bit more vibrancy. On my lid, I used the NYX Cosmetics Cream Color and Candy Rush and cut my crease. Then I went ahead and took some green from the Bright Palette and I just started to deepen up the areas around the liquid latex just to make it look more sunken in. For the actual re reptile, reptile portion itself, I just drew a whole bunch of uneven, there's really no rhyme or reason, squares all over my forehead, my face, and my neck. For the eyebrow portion, I just created some very straight lines going down all the way towards my nose and then I went in and rounded them out just to give it more of a pronounced scale look. And it was in this moment that I realized I started to look a little bit more like Croc from Suicide Squad instead of a chameleon, which is why we named it Reptilia because we just looked like all kinds of reptiles. For the lips, we used some eye dust from Black Moon Cosmetics and this one is in Martian. I applied a few layers just to make it a little bit more opaque. To line my liner, I used a little bit of some water activated paint and this one is in black and I just followed the same shape. I honestly don't even know why I started doing all these shapes and why I went in and I don't know why I felt the need to do more lines on my liner. You don't have to do all this. This is probably why I was probably over it by the time I was done and I hated it. But anyway, this is probably my favorite part of the whole entire look. I used some liquid latex and some hieroglyphic glitter and I placed it right on top of the squares. That way when I move, it looks like the light is shifting. I went in with some Love Lust from Nick Cosmetics and I applied some pink dots everywhere just because I felt like the pink was needed in other areas of the face. I also did a line straight down from my bottom lip just to make it look like a tongue, I guess. We did the same square concept on the neck and then the same dotting as well.
this pretty much concludes our little reptile tutorial. Thank you guys as always for watching and we hope to see you in our next video. We love you. Ciao.